Hi, I'm Dan Henniger with Current Connections Media Group. Our group invites you to be part of a movement to raise awareness for our community treasure, the French Creek Watershed. The rich history and biodiversity are just part of the story of this natural resource that we share. Join us on our journey that follows the vital thread that weaves together the places and the people of the watershed. From its headwaters in New York State to the confluence of the Allegheny River, French Creek offers us an extraordinary opportunity to come alive and to create the spirit that moves us towards a new awakening. Et nous sommes finalement arrivés au confluent de la rivière aux bœufs et de la belle rivière, au village Seneca de la Paille Coupée. So we came at last to the place where the stream joins the Allegheny at the Seneca village de la Paille Coupée, the broken straw. And we made camp there and buried a plate, claiming this land in the name of King Louis XV. We have also affixed in the same place to a tree the arms of the king in testimony of which we have drawn up and signed the present attestation. Done at the entrance of La Belle Rivière, July 29th, 1749. All of the officers have signed. Captain Pierre-Joseph de Celeron de Bienville. The French claim to the Ohio Valley would not last long, but the memory of their presence would be preserved in the magnificent stream that they had called La Rivière aux Bœufs, French Creek. A friend suggested I try French Creek, and so I did. I put in near Venango early on a Saturday morning. There were schools of darters and panfish in the shallows, and in some of the pools, I could actually see clear to the bottom. I came around a bend, and there was an eagle just a few hundred feet away. I saw two more eagles later that day. I think that sums up the French Creek experience for me. You slip into the water and slip into the past. It's clean and remote and wild. Like it hasn't changed for a thousand years. It's a special feel that's all its own. Years ago, we'd come down to the creek and we'd set up on the big holes. You want stretches of slow, deep water where muddy creek dumps in and the deep pools south of Cambridge. The muskies lay in wait at the bottom of these pools, under brush piles and log jams, places where there's cover and shadow. What you did was float your bait down in there with the current. You usually go down to the bottom of that pool. The thing is, if that muskie takes the bait, you better set that hook. He takes you down into a log jam, you lose it. We take 30 or 40 pounders out of there. People are surprised at the size of the fish out of French Creek. And I'll tell you, they think about it if they go swimming there. This is just the beginning of our story. We need your support to help us preserve, protect, and promote this special place. 
We know that once people experience the French Creek Connection, they will become partners in preserving our regional treasure. <laughs>